Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cheryl's Organic Food Forest. In this episode, I'm going to share with you how I made a delicious soup out of my first Blue Hubbard squash. Well, as you can see, the squash is ready. The first one cracked because we received too much water, but I think this one is ready, so I'm going to take it inside and get it ready to make some soup. And Brian wanted to uh, take a picture with the squash. And as you can see in the background, in that raised garden bed under that shade cloth, we have many more growing. So the first thing I did was I washed it off and I cut it in half. And then I removed the pulp seeds and everything out of it. And then I poured a little extra virgin olive oil that I get from Amazon because I just don't trust most of the olive oils uh, in the grocery stores. I read an article about a year ago showing that they put a lot of corn oil and other vegetable oils in the olive oil and you're really not getting the real thing. So since that time, I've been ordering this imported extra virgin olive oil. And then I put it in the oven and I roasted it on 350 degrees for an hour. And I took it out and I was amazed that it had a lot of water content, more than um, usual from your squash. And guys, I tasted it. I liked the taste of it. So I just added a little honey and I used my pot uh, stirrer and emulsified it and... It tastes delicious. I was really happy and pleased that I decided to grow it. Here's something that I purchased for myself for my birthday. And Brian and Bria were surprised to see it this morning. It is a waterfall fountain. And I love the sound of uh, running water. It's very calming and soothing to me. And since I have a birthday coming up, very soon, I decided that I would treat myself. You're listening to my grandchildren in the background. I asked them to please be quiet, but you guys know how children are. Just when you want them to be quiet is when they make the most noise. Here's how I dehydrate my herbs. Today, I am dehydrating basil because, uh, as you can see here, I had harvested quite a amount. And I went through it and picked the leaves off and made sure there weren't any bugs or insects or worms. And then I put it in a clean sink with paper towels on the bottom, middle, and at the top. A few hours later, I removed it and let it drain on a dish towel. And then I loaded my nine-tray Excalibur dehydrator and I set the temperature for 105 degrees. I set it and I forgot it because I went to bed. <laughs> set it and forget it. Anyway, I woke up the next morning and it was thoroughly dry after about seven hours. And all I had to do was pick out any additional stems that I may have missed and crunch it up because it was bone dry. So all of that basil only rendered the small amount of dehydrated basil. It's amazing how it shrinks. So now all I have to do is put it in the spice jar. Did I say that already? I don't know. I'll be 65 in a few days. So here's a picture of all of the basil before and then after. Last but not least, I want to share with you that my Texas Star Hibiscus, the red one, finally bloomed. We're behind this year, and I think it has something to do with all the rain we received. But I grow these um, for the flowers that I dry and make tea out of because it has been medically proven that it will lower blood pressure. I started growing this hibiscus about three years ago from seeds, and they come back every year, so they're non-tropical. 
Last winter, I started some white Texas star hibiscus seeds, and they are growing very well. And as soon as they bloom, I'll capture it on video, and I make, I'll make i make sure that I share it with you in another video very soon. Now, I've previously made several videos about hibiscus tea and how it's been medically proven to lower your blood pressure. However, I don't recommend anybody going off of their medication and drinking this tea. It's not a miracle tea. Check with your doctor first uh, but I'll leave a link to those videos in the description box at this time I want to thank all of my subscribers you've been very supportive of me and if you're new to my channel please hit the like and subscribe buttons thank you for watching bye now